What's up, dog? Beer and margaritas are inside. You butt in there. already are in trouble. It's hot in here. Do you want to go outside? It's beautiful out here. Tell me about it. Excuse me, who invited you here? I didn't know I needed a formal invitation. I invited him. Are you with him now? Damon, just leave us alone. Yeah, dude, chill out. Get see again. Let's start. Do you have any other psycho ex boyfriends you want to tell me about? A few times he was never even really a boyfriend. It was just bizarre. I have never seen him act like that. You need to get the hell out of my house. Why don't you kick Damon out? Because Damon is my best friend. Fine. I was leaving anyway. Yes. Wait for me. I'm gonna go tell the guys I'm leaving. Okay? No, just stay. Yeah, Nick and Damon. Where's Nick? He took off. Look, I'm gonna go too. Suddenly, I don't feel very welcome here. With this boy Nick, we were in classes with him. Yeah, and he had a fight tonight with Damon. Was there always animosity between these two? No, I don't think so. I mean, Nick's new at the school. I don't think they really even knew each other. Actually, I, I saw him have an argument. It was in the locker room after gym class. What was this argument about? I don't know. Well, it was nothing. I think. Nick left some wet towels on Damon's bench. They exchanged insults. I kind of got the feeling Damon didn't like him very much. Nick ever mention this to you? No. Someone said you used to date Damon. Yeah. When was this? It was like six months ago. 
We just went out for a little while. I was going to a different school back then. Now you date Nick? We were just friends. Yeah, okay. Anyone know where Nick is now? Why did you say that? He's a police officer. You think I should have lied? You didn't have to say anything. Hey, why should I protect Nick? He's dangerous. He's totally manipulative. He's got a violent temper. He, he's a liar. He totally could have got Brian killed with that old fight club scam. Fine, I hear you. It doesn't make him a murderer. You sure about that? Nick, it's Allie. Where are you? Listen, the police are looking for you. Something's happened and Damon's dead. You know, just call me as soon as you get this message, okay? I'm telling you the truth. I didn't kill him. But given the circumstance, I'm not surprised they think I did. You should call a lawyer in the morning. I'll give you a name. Sorry for waking you up. My aunt has been out of town for a week, and I don't know where else to go. Just stay here. Uh, yeah, can I help you? Inspector Vargas, SFPD. Are you Tom Chang? Yeah. I hear you have a student named Nick Reed, and he may be here. Yeah, he's here. Good, let me in. No. You got a warrant? Look, I have a half a dozen witnesses who saw this kid get in an altercation with another boy who was now very dead. I need to talk to him, hear his story. All right, well, unless you got a warrant, you can't come in. This kid hasn't even seen a lawyer yet. I didn't do it. Damon pepper sprayed me. That is all that happened. Go back upstairs, Nick. No, you won't talk to me. You run from a crime but scene. You're making it that much worse for yourself, son. I didn't run. All right, I left the party. Nick, get back inside. Go. Nick, get back here. Get back Go. here, Nick. Okay, fine. No problem. We we'll played the hard way. Fine, huh? Inspector. You do what you got to do. I'm going to bed. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. I've already heard like 15 different versions of what happened. Has anybody seen Nick? It doesn't look good. I'm not showing up for school like this. We should try and help him. How are we supposed to do that? We're on our way to chemistry, which should be interesting. Damon was in that class. I was hoping they would cancel. See, I didn't completely finish the assignment. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. Come on, let's go. How weird is that? He was here on Friday and now he's just gone. I know. Check out Ethan, his lab partner. Good morning, everyone. I assume that you all heard about the terrible tragedy that occurred over the weekend. Damon was a special person, and he will be missed greatly. We have grief counselors available in the student lounge. Continue to work on your lab reports. I'll be coming around to each lab group individually. It's a little freaky, isn't it? Yeah, especially because those girls weren't even friends with Damon. Did you know him? Outside of class, I mean? Yeah, I helped tutor him. Hey, that's cool, what you're drawing. Thanks. Well, you're gonna need a new lab partner. If you want, you can work with me and Brian. Right. What's up, man? Uh, you, you, you've you had a seat. I'll, I'll get him out. Are 
you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I can't believe he's gone. Yeah. We had all these plans together. We were supposed to go to Princeton this fall. And we were talking about backpacking across Europe. I don't know what I'm going to do without him. Listen to me, I'm like a widow at 17. I just, I wish that there was something I could say to make you feel better. Yeah. If there's anything, I mean, I, I know you barely know me, but... Thanks. So I heard the police think it's Nick Reed. I was with him that night, and I don't believe he would do something like this. Yeah, I know. He's in my history class. Listen to him. I should get to class. It's kind of good to talk to someone. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye. That's me. Hey. I got your message. Thanks. What happened to you? Where'd you go after the party? Nowhere. I went and got a cup of coffee at this place on Harrison. What the hell are you doing here? Last time I checked, this is where I go to school. You trying to make a joke? No. What's your problem? You killed my best friend. That's my problem. I don't see how you have the nerve to saunter into school like nothing's happened. I didn't kill your friend. Now you're gonna lie to me. Just stop. Stay out. Get up. Hey, hey, let him go. Are you done yet? It's only late for class. Stay out of this. Doing this? Hey, hey, teachers, go! You'll get yours, too. Are you okay? I'll live. Where's you guys dancing? I'm trying to get him out there. I can't. Margarita? Are you trying to get me in trouble? If you're with me, you already are in trouble. Ow! Pepper spray, huh? That's real brave. You feel brave now? In most forms of martial arts, the goal is to seek control of your opponent's body. But in our art, we look for something different. We seek to control the empty spaces around our adversary. To find the space your opponent occupies and the space that he or she doesn't. Feel it. Learn to see what is unseen. Okay, blindfolds off. Look, I know everyone's feeling a little bit um, distracted about what happened. Yeah, no kidding. But just remember, talk is cheap. Okay. Like our lesson today, you have to learn to look beyond what seems evident before you draw conclusions.
That's it for today. Hey, Mr. C. Can we talk to you for a sec? What's up? When you were a cop, how did you go about conducting a murder investigation? Hypothetically? Of course. Hypothetically. Right. I mean, we're not going to get in the way of the police doing their jobs or anything. All right. You start by learning everything you can about the victim. Like what? There's the Damon you knew and the Damon you didn't know. And I'll bet you the motivation for the murder is related to the Damon you didn't know. Are you sure this is where Damon lived? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. Ugh. I was picturing garbage cans, Allie. Yeah. <clears throat> Me too. What are you doing? You look straight jacket crazy. Okay. Don't think I'm getting in there with you. It's not that bad. I don't even know if I like Nick. Do you want him to go to prison? Great. Move over. You were a tough chick. Well, it doesn't mean I don't care about my personal hygiene. <laughs> what are we looking for anyway? Trash from Damon's bedroom. What's that? I don't know, but it smells like the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely the kitchen. <laughs> So what's up with you and Trip? It's annoying me. Look, he doesn't like Nick from the beginning. But to start saying things to the cops? It's like he wants Nick to be guilty. Hey, check this out. It's Damon's SAT scores. He got a combined 9-10. Don't you get like 400 points just for signing your name? He was applying to Ivy League schools. He was. Wait. Found something. What is it? A letter from Riley. His girlfriend? Is it juicy? Oh my god. Dear Damon, since you refuse to take my phone calls, I'm writing you this letter. I am so sorry that I strayed from you, however briefly. Please believe me when I say it was meaningless. I truly regret what I did. I hope you can find a way to forgive me. Love always, Riley. So we bombed the SATs and his girlfriend stepped out on me. Dog was having a rough month. Who'd she cheat with? Doesn't say. My guess is Julian. The three of them are always together. Yeah, but then why would Damon show up at his party? I mean, it just doesn't track. Maybe it's someone we don't know. I just don't understand how he screwed up his SAT so badly. It doesn't make any sense. Ethan was his tutor, and now he's our lab partner, so I'll just make a study date. I got class. All right. Later. See ya. Tori. You think it'd be dangerous? I don't like the idea of you being alone with him. You get her. Look, I appreciate your concern, but I can handle myself. Don't I have a say in this? Why? because we went on a few dates, and suddenly you can tell me what I can and can't do? That, in my opinion, might mean something to you. Hello? What? I don't understand. Give me the address. Okay, I'll be right there. She entered with three other girls. They looked suspicious from the get-go. And then your daughter, I observed her slip a container of raspberry lip gloss into her pocket. I followed them outside where her friends ran off like a pack of wolves. Look, I'm really sorry for this, okay? And I'll handle it with her. 
How much is the uh, lip gloss? Now, that is not the point. This is an urgent matter, Mr. Chang. I don't care if it's lip gloss or a man in a stocking mask robbing the register. It's stealing. Look, my daughter is an extremely well-behaved, respectful... <sighs> Forget it. I don't have to justify anything. Please, just get my daughter now. Now, why did you do this? It was just a stupid thing. Can we not talk about no, it? No, we're going to talk about it. You know, I called you because I thought you'd be more understanding than Mom would tell him. Well, bad choice. It was a spur-of-the-moment thing. I mean, my friends egged me on. You have no reason to steal. Okay, I'm disappointed in you. You understand this is bad? Yes. Claire, look at me. You're not going to do this again. No, I'm sorry. It won't ever happen again. Good. Tell me something. Why lip gloss? Do you have a boyfriend or something? Oh, my God. No. That's totally personal anyway. I'm your father. Exactly my point. I was just wondering if you could explain this. How did you... Wait, where did you get that? Doesn't matter. I was just wondering if you'd shared this information with the police. What information? The fact that you cheated on Damon. I don't see how it's their business or yours. This is really inappropriate. Why are you doing this? Nick is my friend. I'm just trying to help him. If you slept with someone else, like Julian, wouldn't it be logical that Damon would want to get revenge on that person? I mean, maybe the situation backfired and that's how we ended up dead. I'm telling you, Allie, stay out of this. But fine. I'm gonna let the police figure it out. I care about Nick, too. What? That's who I slept with. It was just one time and it was a total mistake. I never should have told Damon because it shattered him, but I can't take that back now. When? Two weeks ago. Look, I don't think Nick killed Damon either. But if the cops find out that we slept together, do you think it's going to look good for him? Go to the cops if you want. But you should be prepared to deal with the consequences. I'm trying to help you here, and you won't even tell me the truth. What are you talking about? You slept with her. Who? Riley! Who said that? She did. It's a total lie. Why would she say it? I don't know. She wanted to. It never happened. What, you're going to believe her over me? Fine. I slept with Riley. And I killed Damon. I am responsible for global warming! Happy now? Mm. <laughs> the key is footwork and balance, Claire. Like this? Yes. Strike quickly, fist and feet together. Good! Now go for the kill! I got you! I knocked you out. This is why I prefer Madden football. Hi. Hi. I called your mom. She's on her way over to pick you up. She's going to kill me. Don't worry. She knows we already talked. She'll be all right. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. I didn't quite get the explanation that Mrs. Hart gave us about what an Esther is. Well, it's not that hard. An ester is a chemical compound that forms when an organic acid reacts with an alcohol. And the big thing is they have distinctive smells, right? It, most of them, yeah. Ethan! Telephone! Take a message, Mom! Sorry. 
No problem. He says it's important. I'm leaving the phone for you in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Yeah, hey, yo, Ethan. How you doing, brother? Who is this? Brian, man. Your lab partner. Hey, look, I got a couple of questions about the homework. Look, this is kind of a bad time. Let me call you back. No, no, wait a minute. Hey, look, we're all in this together, man. The least you can do is take a minute out to answer a couple of questions. Or, or maybe I should tell Tori you wouldn't help me. Okay. What is it? Hurry. All right, all right. Look, I'm confused about the, uh... The alkanes and the isomers. For the homework tomorrow, all you got to know is that alkanes are simple hydrocarbons. For the isomer question, see the structural formula of 3-ethylhexane on page 421. I got to go. Yeah. What are you doing? Where did you get this? Hey, right. I use it to buy beer, okay? Oh, yeah? But why does it have Damon's name on it? It says you're only 18. Get out of my house. Or what? Get out! Ethan, what's going on up there? Fine. I'll just go tell the cops. No, you won't. Can't tell the cops. Can't ruin my chance to go to MIT. What do you mean? I know you think I probably had something to do with Damon's murder. The reason I had the idea with Damon's name on it is because I took his SATs for him. You took Damon's SATs? Yeah. And Julian's too. I saw Damon's score. It was 910. Yep. What about Julian? He got a 1590. I missed one of the English comp questions. You bombed Damon's test on purpose? Why would you do that? Not only did he take the SATs for Damon and Julian, but Julian paid him to tank Damon's test. See, I don't get it. Because Riley told me that she wanted to go to Princeton with Damon. But now, Julian's going off to Princeton with Riley. Oh my God. Julian must have killed Damon to be with Riley. Nick can't be the killer. And Riley is helping frame him. It looks that way, doesn't it? Now. It's all right. I don't blame you. I'm used to being seen in a certain way, you know? See, what happens is people put this label on you, and then you just start to become it. And see how that happens. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why are you helping me, Allie? You hardly even know me. It's true. No one ever believes me. Not even my own parents. Let's just say you getting framed and spending the rest of your life in jail kind of rubs my sense of justice the wrong way. That's it? That's not enough? 
Thanks. Sure. Hey. Hey, there you are. I've been trying to call you. Oh, yeah. I had my phone turned off. Well, I was worried. How'd I go with Ethan? Fine. But I'll tell you after class. Sorry I didn't check in. No problem. Robin, after you make your swing, move. You don't have time to admire your handiwork. Huh? Lewis, remember economy of motion. By the time you swing way over here, your opponent is already here. You wanted a warrant? Got it right here. An arrest warrant for Nick Reed. We found a murder weapon. We got forensic evidence tying it right to him. I'm sorry. Hey, wait, wait, hey! Move! Stop running, reader! I swear to God, I'll shoot! Stop right now! Just at the hospital, Nick's gonna be okay. He was shot in the shoulder. It was a superficial wound. When can we see him? <sighs> you can't. He was transferred downtown to a jail ward. This is ridiculous. He didn't do it. Yeah, what's their evidence? They found a knife in the bushes with Nick's blood on it. At the party, Damon hit him in the nose. There was a towel in the bathroom with his blood on it. I mean, somebody could have just wiped the blood on the murder weapon and thrown it in the bushes. Who would do that? You really think he did it? Well, look at the evidence. I'm sorry, but his blood is on the knife. How many of you think Nick did it? All right, if all the evidence is pointing to Nick, why don't more of you have your hands up? Because it just doesn't feel right. At least not to me. So you have the sense there's something else. So what is it? What are you not seeing? What are the police not seeing? What they're not seeing is it's got to be Julian. He's got motive. You don't kill someone over SAT scores. No. People kill each other all the time over jealousy and love. And let me ask you this. How many of you think Julian did it? So if that's the case, how can we make what's unseen visible here? What if we could find a witness? Someone to corroborate our theory. That would be big. You sure you don't want me to go with you? No, I think I can do this better one-on-one. -on -one. Allie? We gotta talk. Yeah, what is it? I know you didn't sleep with Nick. You just said that to protect Julian. But it's not gonna work. I mean, you can't protect him, and you shouldn't. <laughs> you're talking crazy. Listen to me, Riley. I know you're involved. You have a chance to save yourself. I'm not involved in anything. And do the right thing.
Throw me the flop, for show, sure. like running on grass, bitch. I wanted to protect Nick just as badly, but you've got to see Julian for who he is. He's a murderer, Riley. Look, if you saw something at the party, it'll make all the difference. Given everything we know, in your testimony, Julian goes down. Okay. All right. It was Julian. We fell in love. It just, it just happened. And then all of a sudden he wanted to go to college with me. And Damon didn't have a clue? Not until after the SATs. What happened then? Damon found out what happened with the SATs. He confronted Julian about it the night at the party. I'm gonna expose the whole damn thing! I'm gonna tell the SAT people that you paid these to take my test! Calm down. Sit down. Have a margarita. Relax. Think this through. If I go down, you go down too. You don't want that, do you? Look, you can always retake your SATs, apply to any college you want next year. You really want to ruin your life over this? No. I'm going to ruin yours. And you're going down too. Julian freaked. He went after Damon, and I couldn't stop him. What were you doing? I was making the margaritas. If I go down, you go down. You don't want that, do you? Look, you can always retake the SATs, apply to any college you want next year. You really want to ruin your life over this? No, I'm going to ruin yours. And you're going down too! He's going to ruin everything. You've got to go to the police with me, Riley. I'm not going down for this. You're the one who stabbed him. She had the knife, didn't she, Julian? Shut up! I'm cutting the limes. Fuck her! Yeah! like you needed my help. Let's get over I finally saw what I wasn't seeing. How it must have happened. Proud of you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Thanks for helping me yesterday. Sure. Come on in. I feel all this pressure from mom and from Philip to be perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. You see me differently. I like that. I'm glad. Did you want something? 
Dad, you know the judge sort of left this custody thing up to me? Yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering if it's okay if I stop by more often? Of course. I'd love that. Good. Okay. Well, I have to go skating. Okay. Bye, Dad. Bye. You were right. I misjudged Nick. It's okay. No, it's not. Sometimes I'm distrustful of people. You now it clouds my judgment. I'm sorry. Don't do that. Don't apologize. I've been horrible to you and I hate myself for it. What do you mean? The way I was acting. I was being totally stubborn. I was shutting you out. You were caught up in something. I mean, it's okay. I understand. This is exactly why I didn't want to date someone from class. And this whole thing of being a couple, it's too complicated. So let me get this straight. You can fight for Nick, but you can't fight for us. I guess I can. Am I the only one that feels alone? All is home emotions Feel what you can't see. Anybody recognize at all? Because sometimes what you see is not what is most important. <laughs> you lost it, not me. And I'm still dying now. Rest of my life's the only thing that deals the pain of pouring rain now. Freed and hate. That's good. And All right, blindfolds off. No wrong. My God, it's been so long. Nick! Nick! Welcome back, man. Hey. It's good to have you back, Nick. Thanks. All right, all right, ignore me. Keep going. I want to watch everyone else suffer for a change. All right, strength conditioning. I know.